Eye tracking involves the measurement of eye movement while we concentrate on something such as a text or web page. It is studied to better understand how we perceive the world through our eyes. The assumption is that our eyes read linearly, that is, for example, reading text from left to right, one word after another, when in fact it is quite the opposite. Our eyes, in fact, dart around the page in random order, concentrating on more noticeable aspects of the page first. Yeah, so, okay. uh, so in, in a real life kind of commercial kind of setting, I'm doing actual user testing, I would be kind of um, taking notes of where, look, observing where the user's looking, kind of make, finding out if the user expresses any kind of. The rapid movement of our eyes is called saccadic motion. Each tremor of the eye is called a saccade and happens so quickly we don't even notice it. In my opinion, the brain-computer interaction is probably going to be the next big thing coming up in terms of human-computer interaction. It quite simply works um, by the headset picking up the EEG signals from the brain, which is basically just electricity being sent from the brain to the muscles, and then converting those signals into data, which can then be used to control a computer device. The problem with that is that the skull, for instance, blocks some of those data. So it's not the most accurate system at the moment, but possibly can be improved in the future. The first commercial system will actually come out this year, and once it gets released, we'll actually see how good it works at the moment and how the future might be. Um, here we have a small a replica of a brain computer interaction device, which basically in the real one, you'd actually have little sensors all around here and here and here, roughly, and all over the place, uh, which will actually pick up the signals. They will then get sent for, um, through the cable into the computer where the corresponding software will convert them into the appropriate input signals. Epoch brain control device, which can possibly be used in order to control thoughts of words, letters, and their moving into different.